Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about which VPNs are court proven not to collect logs. Now, if you're looking for a VPN, chances are you want a VPN that does not lock your activity. After all, if that was true, the point of using a VPN is there really is wouldn't be a point, right? The most important thing with the VPN is if you can trust it. And when you're cycling your internet traffic through that VPN provider, you want to make sure that it's not going to give away that information to anybody. The point of a VPN is encrypt your internet traffic so your ISP and other people on the internet can't really see your traffic and kind of um, ruin your privacy. So today we're going to be discussing three VPNs that are court proven not to collect logs. Now you might have heard of other VPNs such as Molvad, iVPN, Nord Express and other VPNs that have done what, what are called um, no log audits or audits to make sure that the VPN is not collecting logs. Now, in my opinion, uh, my humble opinion, I don't really view this as that important of a thing because at the end of the day, audits aren't really meant to verify if a company is collecting anything. Audits are meant for more of like a security thing to see if there's any holes in the network, to see if there's anything that could have a breach of information or bad security security practices um, to see if a VPN is collecting logs it doesn't really make sense because a VPN could kind of like change um, the the aspect that would collect logs get audited and then change it back that's entirely possible I'm not saying VPNs are doing that but it's certainly possible and makes the whole no log audit craze that we've seen the last three or four years kind of not that important of a metric we really see a couple websites kind of hone in on this. Um, VPNs really like to have this, oh, you know, we got a no log audit, we're perfectly safe kind of thing. And I just don't really buy that. Really what it comes down to, to be able to trust the VPN, is you need to see that they went to court, had some kind of issue, and refused to give up customer information. Now this can come in a variety of different ways. It could be someone trying to torrent on it, they got in tr trouble, and then maybe some kind of like agency like Hollywood wanted to go after that VPN to give up logs on users. A second indication could be is that maybe some user on the network was doing something illegal and they were trying to be prosecuted but the VPN did not give logs on that user because they cannot give up logs on something they do not collect. Um, those are pretty much the big examples of stuff you should be kind of thinking about. Now I don't really recommend doing any crime on any VPN what we're here today talking about is just picking a VPN with that best kind of privacy practice and that's something you're going to want to look for. So let's go ahead and run over these three VPNs. Now I'm not sponsored by any of these VPNs but I am an affiliate almost for every single VPN which means if you click the links in the description down below I should get a small cutback and usually you'll get some kind of deal as well which is the perfect blend of you know way to keep this channel running. I don't have any YouTube ads which is pretty much unheard of no sponsorships or anything like that I don't even have a patreon so guys I hope that makes sense to you let's get into this video on the top three rec VPNs really this is the only VPNs actually so guys number one would be Tor Garden now this falls into the the issue of Hollywood coming after them trying to give up logs on users torrenting and them refusing to give up logs on users saying they don't collect any logs so this was a pretty big deal last year um, filmmakers tried to sue Tor Guard and Torgard ended up settling by blocking BitTorrent traffic on US servers. So this kind of ended the dispute. Torgard refused to give up any logs on users. Now I kind of covered this recently on my website and on my channel discussing if this block is kind of still up today. Um, there hasn't really been any official word from it from Torgard but from my tests and other users I've been able to find out that Torgard does seem to work fine with torrenting on USA servers and I even have proof right here using the Seattle server. So in my opinion this was like the best kind of outcome saying you know you settled and get out of this without giving them blogs, um, finding a clear uh, kind of clever legal solution, I'm not give, collecting any logs so in my opinion this is one of the best ways you could kind of get out of this and not give up any logs on users so this is definitely a good thing the, if you read some of the documents, it also says that they, they said they couldn't give up logs because they didn't collect any. So definitely a clear win for TorGuard and definitely one of the best VPNs if you want a VPN to prove in court that they're not going to give away logs. And like I said before, I have a couple discounts. You could go on my website, click on the link, um, check out the tier list. 
Um, code TomSpark2023 should get you the best going deal for a 50% off. Next up, we have something called private internet access. Now, this happened around a long time ago, around 2017. There was an issue um, where they were kind of trying to, uh, there was some kind of hacking trial in the San Jose Federal Court. Um, it says San Francisco resident Ross Colby was arraigned um, with an FBI investigation into alleged hacking offensives. Um, so I guess he had hacked into a couple different things and was being protected by PIA. Um, and what happened here is that PIA refused to kind of give up logs on this guy, proving that they were going the mile in terms of they didn't collect logs. So this was a pretty good precedent back then. Now, since then, PIA has kind of changed hands in terms of the company. They're not owned by the same company anymore. And in fact, PIA is definitely one of those VPNs that has changed hands a lot. They're owned by a different company now. Um, but that said, they are uh, open source, so that is pretty nice. They have open source software, which is kind of a cool little bonus. Um, they also have like the no little no logs thing. Um, but that said, definitely a solid VPN from this president. Um, is it the same company as back then? Well, no, not really. But I still think it's definitely one of those hallmark examples of a VPN refusing to give up logs. So like I said, if you click on my link down below or this link, you should be able to kind of get the best deal going on with PIA if you're interested. Um, next up, we have OVPN. Now, OVPN is unfortunately another company that's recently changed hands to Pongo, which is not as reputable of a company. And who knows really how they will handle things like this going forward. But that said, OVPN in 2020 was another one of those few VPNs out there that refused to give up logs and was court proven not to give up logs when going the mile saying they have no logs. Um, following a decision handed down at the Patent and Market Court in Stockholm, OVPN has now emerged victorious given the complexity of this case. Decisions to appear to be relatively simple, one for the court. If a party denies it has access to specific information, in this case of information related to OVPN's alleged customer, the Pirate Bay, it falls upon the applicants to provide sufficient estimates that the data is available to be retrieved. So OVPN was able to prove here that they do not collect logs, they cannot give up any logs. So there you go, it was definitely a good precedent. Now like I said, OVPN has recently changed hands. It's not quite as rated as high in the tier list. Um, just do a combination of kind of like its feature sets and kind of slow speeds and stuff like that. Um, but it could still be worth a pickup if you're interested in that. Um, so think about that as well. All right, guys. So this was my sum up of the video. We got Torgar, PIA, and OVPN. If you're still kind of, if you're wondering if you want to get one of these VPNs, well, Torgar is definitely a solid pickup. Um, extremely affordable. Works pretty good. Um, probably one of the best VPNs out there, especially in terms of budget. If you use code TomSpark2023, you'll get it for like five bucks a month or thirty dollars a year. Now, private internet access, maybe not as reputable as a company, not as highly rated, but that said, it does have some advantages too. Um, one of the advantages, it works kind of built in with stream compatibility, which is really nice. Um, long term, you should be able to get it for a decent deal. Um, Torgar is a little cheaper, like short term. But PIA is pretty good long term too. Fifty-seven dollars for two years and two months free, and um, you do get a little bit some extras. Um, you get unlimited devices, which is kind of cool. They do have an open source app, and it works built in with stream compatibility. Um, so you go going between like Torgar and o o uh, PIA. Well, Torgar a little bit more trustworthy in my opinion in terms of the company, but PIA kind of has a more polished product in a lot of ways. So that's kind of up to you guys. I wouldn't really recommend OVPN just because of some of the speeds and stuff like that um, and feature sets. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this down in the comments down below and I'll see you again very soon.